I've been modeling in Fusion 360 as a hobby for 6 years. Pretty cool models were created there, shared on Thingiverse. I wanted to start a small business. I would gladly pay a significant sum of money just to get an offline Fusion 360 editor where I could make my commercial models. But this option wasn't available. I was also pretty certain that the company would crank up the prices in the coming years, so I looked for an alternative. And I found it. For the past 7 months I was creating my commercial models in FreeCAD. It was bumpy at first, but eventually I got the hang of it. With a bit of thought given to order of operations, I am able to achieve pretty good results and it is really no longer something I worry about. To show you the basic workflow of FreeCAD, let's model the holder for these drill bits. We create a body, then a sketch. It's better to make it symmetrical across the center point. This makes the life so much easier. I didn't use the symmetric constraint at all in Fusion, but here it's pretty much essential. Sketching experience is pretty similar to Fusion, except sketches should be much smaller in FreeCAD because it doesn't allow extrusion of subsketches. Only the full sketch can be extruded and it must result in one body. Sketching also takes a bit longer because drawing a shape and giving it a dimension are two different operations and so, so roughly double the amount of clicks is required to draw anything. FreeCAD also has construction geometry, which is shown in blue. In Fusion you didn't have to use construction geometry really, it was usually fine to have a line inside the sketch. But in FreeCAD this is not the case. If there are two overlapping lines, or it's not crystal clear what should be extruded, then FreeCAD will complain. But I get used to that, so I just make better sketches now. Extrusion in FreeCAD is pretty similar to Fusion. However, it is a little more limited. There are more options in Fusion, for example, you can extrude from a certain face. Chamfers and fillets are also pretty similar. However, in some cases where Fusion would happily make a chamfer, FreeCAD just doesn't allow it. The main problem I have with FreeCAD, which is not a blocker but takes a lot of time, that editing previous operation can break the following operation. You can see right now we're adding a chamfer on five edges, and if I go back to the sketch and edit one more hole, this will result in the chamfer operation affecting the wrong edges. In FreeCAD the way to go is create multiple simple sketches. So right now I clicked the face and on that face created a new sketch and here we will just make a couple holes again using a symmetrical constraint. A nice feature of FreeCAD that is absent I believe in Fusion that on the left you have the list of shapes and you can select from that list and you don't have to click on screen necessarily. So if you for example make 20 circles then you can just go ahead and select them on the left and apply constraints very quickly. You also have the cross-section view in FreeCAD. And here is our print result. Yeah, I had to drill out the holes to plus half a millimeter for everything to go in smoothly. So at the end of the day, here are the reasons not to use FreeCAD right now. First of all is the onboarding time. It will take some time to learn. Problem in terms of editing right now is that when you edit something before in history, stuff later in history breaks some of the time. In Fusion 360 you can just draw a sketch, your entire part in one sketch, and then extrude it to different sides and potentially even extrude it from different planes. It also takes more time sketching because you have to first draw and then you have to provide dimensions. I've also found it hard to use SVGs and text in FreeCAD. The reasons to use FreeCAD are plenty. It just gets the work done. Another great benefit is that FreeCAD is an offline app, so you don't need to sign in, you don't need to create an account, you don't have to remember your password, it doesn't load for two minutes, and it doesn't limit you from open files if you have other open files and other crazy limitations of online editors. The sketcher is pretty good, but you just have to get used to it, and you have to get used to not making your sketch overly complicated. There is a huge amount of features in FreeCAD, for example, simulations. The only thing you have to pay to learn them is your time. And of course FreeCAD is very business friendly. You don't have to sign a waiver saying that you're only doing this non-commercially. And again, future proof, right? Which is important both for business and non-business applications. FreeCAD is with us for a long time. It will be with us probably forever or until the heat death of the universe. So does it mean that you should immediately drop Fusion 360 and start working exclusively in FreeCAD? 
it might be very beneficial for you not to get too deeply invested into proprietary editors that are getting more expensive or restricted by the year. It would be very good just to know the free cat and try it out, give it a fair shake. Try your next uh, smaller project in FreeCAD and see what are the pain points, is it really so bad? Or maybe you find that you modeled your part in 10 minutes instead of 7 minutes in Fusion and this is actually perfectly fine. If you have a possibility, please donate money to FreeCAD. I have already donated a fair amount. It has already gone better in the past 5 years by a lot. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.